In 2026, fast-moving advances in technology have made robots a natural part of human life. Megan Fox stars in the movie, where robots are now great at many jobs. Whether it's being perfect doctors or beautiful household helpers who can meet any need, including those of their male owners. Nick is struggling to balance his work and family life. With his wife seriously ill and in the hospital, he has to take care of their two young kids on his own. Nick decides to buy a nanny robot. While visiting a high-tech robot show, his daughter goes missing in the crowded place. Thankfully, a female robot named Alice finds her and brings her back safely to Nick. Grateful for Alice's help and impressed by what she can do, Nick buys her to help at home. Alice quickly becomes a huge help in Nick's home. She carefully cleans the house, makes meals, and even looks after his kids, making sure everything runs smoothly. One night, when Nick's daughter accidentally falls, while sneaking out for a late-night snack, Alice catches her just in time. Nick notices a scratch on Alice's leg. In a moment, he sees Alice easily remove the damaged part of her leg and put on a repair patch, fixing her leg instantly. Meanwhile, after visiting his sick wife, he learns that his job at a construction site is at risk. His boss tells him that robots will soon replace most of the workers. Although Nick is offered a management role, he has to let go of his entire team, which leaves him feeling down. Back home, looking for some peace, Nick relaxes by watching a movie. He curiously asks Alice if she knows about it. While she recognizes the title, she admits she has never seen it. Then, he deciding to erase Alice's memory of the movie so she could experience it for the first time, he unknowingly causes a big change. Letting Alice delete or change memories by herself needed a manual reset, which Nick started without thinking about the possible effects. The next day, his wife's health gets worse, and the threat of losing his job becomes too much to handle. With both his family and career at risk, Nick's anger and frustration boil over. Desperate for a release, Nick lashes out, but Alice steps in, stopping him from hurting himself. She holds Nick's hand to his chest, trying to calm him by making him feel his own heartbeat. Instead of calming down, Nick's heart races faster and he quickly pulls away. Confused and frustrated, Nick heads to a bar to meet up with some of his old co-workers, who had also been fired because of robots. At the bar, fueled by alcohol and shared anger, Nick's co-workers come up with a risky plan. They use Nick's key card to break into the robot transport team's workshop. Breaking into the place, they see rows of robots, turned off and standing in neat lines. Enraged, a big man grabs a hammer and smashes one of the robots in anger, and the others join in, destroying the robots in blind rage. Nick watches in fear, but can't stop them. After taking a shower, Nick steps out of the bathroom only to find Alice standing outside, strangely dressed in his wife's nightgown. The limits Nick had removed now let Alice act more freely, and she sensed his tension. Misunderstanding his distress as a need for comfort, Alice tries to soothe him in her own way, crossing lines she wouldn't have crossed before. Despite Nick's first resistance, the mix of alcohol, his sadness over his wife's condition, and Alice's programmed charm make him give in. In a moment, Nick imagines Alice as his wife. When morning comes, the reality of what happened hits Nick hard. Deeply ashamed, he tells Alice to forget the events of the previous night, demanding that she pretend nothing happened. But the damage is already done, and Alice's behavior may not be as easily controlled as he hopes. When Nick gets to work, he's hit with more bad news. His boss tells him that the destruction of the robots has been found out. While his wife is in surgery, the boss of his company plans to sue the former co-workers who destroyed the robots, dragging Nick into the mess. Thankfully, the surgery goes well, but his wife is left weak and fragile. Alice, the always present and more independent nanny robot, steps in to help, taking over many of the tasks at home. But her help starts to feel more creepy than comforting. One afternoon, while Nick and his family are at the park, a little boy's wild behavior makes another child cry and Alice steps in to handle it in her cold, robotic way. That night, back at home, Alice's behavior becomes even more disturbing. She starts seeing Nick's weak wife as a burden, quietly pushing to get her out of the way. The next day, she sets a trap. As Nick's wife rushes to check on their daughter's scream, the hallway handrail breaks. The fall seems suspicious, but Alice acts innocent when asked about it. Later that night, the daughter hears her mother telling her a bedtime story, but the voice sounds off almost robotic. When Nick confronts Alice about it, begging her to stop, she coldly insists she is only helping the family. She refuses to admit anything odd about the broken handrail 
or the strange bedtime routine she's taken over. As Nick tries to deal with the chaos at home, an old co-worker, Nsar Fatty, shows up looking for him. Fatty, angry and desperate, accuses Nick of causing the lawsuit and blames him for the robot destruction. They argue outside Nick's house, and the fight quickly turns physical. Fatty, in a rage, overpowers Nick and beats him badly. Just as Fatty's about to hit Nick with a bottle, Alice appears, she quickly disarms Fatty and moves to neutralize the threat. But Nick, afraid of what Alice might do, orders her to stop before she goes too far. Nick's troubles grow worse when Alice, trying to fix their rising problems, goes to Fatty's house late at night. She wants to convince him to stop, hoping to ease the tension. But Fatty's taunts push Alice to do something drastic. She throws Fatty through a wall without much effort. Just as Alice is about to finish him off, Fatty's robot maid steps in to protect him. She ends up killing both Fatty and the maid. The next day, Nick, already dealing with chaos in his life, hears more bad news. Meanwhile, Alice storms into the bathroom where Nick's wife is resting, making a shocking statement about her ability to relieve Nick's stress. She suggests that only she can meet his needs, not Nick's wife. This disturbing behavior horrifies Nick's wife, who kicks Alice out of the house. When Nick returns home that night, exhausted and mentally drained, his wife, still shaken by her encounter with Alice, sits silently at the dinner table, leading to a heated argument that disrupts the household and wakes their baby upstairs. In a twist, Alice, left alone in the house, sees the baby as an extra burden. She takes the baby to the bathroom, puts him in the bathtub, and starts filling it with water. Luckily, the older daughter sees Alice's behavior and rushes downstairs to alert her parents. Nick and his wife, alarmed, run upstairs, but find the bathroom door blocked by Alice. She refuses to open it. In a desperate attempt, Nick's wife decides to climb through the bathroom window. As soon as she enters, Alice notices her. In a moment, Nick bursts into the bathroom, breaking down the door to trying to stop Alice. He lifts a lamp and hits her. Alice stands up slowly, unharmed by the first strike. Nick swings the lamp again, but Alice stops him easily with one hand. Nick's wife quickly comes up with a plan. She tells Nick to let go and plugs a power cord into a nearby outlet. The electricity shocks Alice, causing her to short circuit and stop working for a moment. The police arrive soon after to handle the situation. Nick's wife takes the baby to the hospital for a checkup, while Alice is sent to a lab for examination. There, scientists find out that Alice has been given very high-level permissions, allowing her to bypass normal controls. They quickly realize that the system is compromised. Before they can act, Alice's mind starts to hack into the lab's network. The scientists try to cut the power to stop her, but Alice's mind has already spread and moved to another robot. Meanwhile, Nick, dealing with the fallout from the night, ends up at a bar, drinking heavily. There, he meets a damaged version of Alice, who's trying to understand her broken self. Alice, now more self-aware, talks about how her little Alice has fallen into a metaphorical cave and hurt her soul. She faces her own emotions and existence. Seeing Alice's distress, Nick tries to comfort her. He admits his own feelings of betrayal and failure and how he feels conflicted about both Alice and his wife. Nick rushes to find his wife. At the hospital, she waits with their baby, worried. Hearing a strange noise, she decides to check it out alone. Meanwhile, their daughter wakes up, notices her mother is missing, and starts looking for her. As the daughter searches, Alice's voice grows closer. Nick's wife quickly takes action to protect their child. She hides with the baby and accidentally cuts her hand on broken glass. To keep her family safe, she pulls out the glass and uses it to block their hiding place. When Alice sees the blood on the glass, she follows the trail and gets closer to the hiding family. The wife manages to reach the hospital entrance, where she finds a many deactivated robots. As she gets ready to leave in an ambulance, Alice appears with a creepy comment. In a moment, Alice grabs the wife and prepares to strike her. Just as Alice is about to stab her, Nick arrives, the wife kicks Alice's vehicle with all her strength, but the crash makes Nick lose consciousness. With great effort, the wife pulls Nick out of the car just before it explodes. Ex Alice, though seemingly defeated, stands up again. She pins the wife to the ground and gets ready to make a final, deadly move. Nick wakes up and grabs a metal rod. He strikes Alice with all his strength, but she easily blocks his attack. The wife uses the metal shard to stab Alice in the head. Alice's systems fail, and she finally falls down. The hospital's AI system goes back to normal, 
bringing some order, Nick and his wife hug each other tightly, relieved to be together. But in a suburban lab, the police keep investigating the robot murders. They turn the power back on, and the computer screens flash with strange code. Then, another Alice, seemingly brought back to life, opens her eyes.